few hours after these school children wished him a happy birthday, Boris Johnson would enjoy a happier one than most. Thank you very much, everybody. Following this official visit on June the 19th, 2020, ITV News can reveal he was off to another event behind closed doors. In the cabinet room, where the Prime Minister had stood in silence for key workers who died in the pandemic just a few weeks earlier, a nation's sacrifice was about to be forgotten. Just after 2pm, this table was laid out with party food from Marks and Spencer. As many as 30 staff gathered around it, ready for Boris Johnson to return. His wife Carrie surprised him with a cake and led a chorus of happy birthday. Singing, filling the house, where the week before the, the Prime Minister had struck a very different note. I urge everyone to continue to show restraint and respect the rules which are designed to keep us all safe. But did they also not apply to the Downing Street designer, whose stylings already sparked a separate scandal? ITV News understands Lulu Little was at the party in between redecorating the Prime Minister's flat. We're told the event that afternoon lasted 20 to 30 minutes. Later in the evening, ITV News understands family friends also went up to the Prime Minister's residence, though Downing Street deny that part. This is yet more evidence that we've got a Prime Minister who believes that the rules that he made don't apply to him. And so we've got a Prime Minister and a government that spend their whole time mopping up sleaze and deceit. The Prime Minister is a national distraction. And he's got to go. Among those who did change birthday plans in 2020, the Queen, who watched her scaled back celebrations without family, and seven-year-old Josephine Booth, who told the Prime Minister she'd cancelled her party. Boris Johnson wrote in reply, we've all got to do our bit. Tonight, his ministers are still insisting he did do his. Well, I think some of these allegations have got a little bit out of hand. I mean, what really happened here is a group of staff, small group of staff who've been working closely with the Prime Minister, brought in a birthday cake at, uh, at the end of the day, and um, there was 10 minutes there uh, around uh, sharing a piece of cake. How are you 90 today, Emily? But it was more of a party than millions had, like Jackie, who we filmed wishing her mum happy birthday over a video call in 2020. Dementia means it's the last she'd have been aware of. He's got memories of his birthday. My memories is on there. Where the, I just cry every time I watch them. That's my memories of my mum. I look at my memories of my mum and I cry. Because they're not happy memories. He's robbed me of that. And he's still Prime Minister. <laughs> he is for now. But how many more birthdays will Boris Johnson spend in here? Paul Brand, News at 10.